A shadow glides silently across the night sky. No thunderous roar, no afterburner flames, no radar warning, just the faint hum of a machine engineered to be invisible. By the time anyone realizes it was ever there, it's already gone. And so is the target it came for. This isn't a scene from science fiction. This is the B-2 spirit. America's $2 billion stealth bomber, an aircraft so secret, so advanced, that even now, decades after its first flight, much of what it does remains classified. But the B-2 wasn't built just to fly under the radar. It was built to shift the very balance of global power, to give the United States the ability to strike anywhere at any time without warning and without being seen. To understand the B-2, you have to go back to the end of the 1970s. The Cold War was at its peak. The Soviet Union was investing heavily in air defense systems, radars, interceptors, surface-to-air missiles. American bombers like the B-52 were becoming increasingly vulnerable. A new generation of bombers would be needed. Aircraft that could defeat not just missiles and fighters, but radar itself. In 1979, the U.S. government quietly launched the Advanced Technology Bomber Program. Northrop Grumman, then just Northrop, won the secretive contract. The company proposed something radical. A flying wing design, no tail, no vertical surfaces, just a seamless, curved body that would reflect almost no radar waves. This wasn't a new concept. It dated back to German engineers in World War II, but no one had ever made it work on this scale. Northrop was about to try. Years of intense black-budget research followed. Engineers ran endless simulations, built scale models, tested materials in secret wind tunnels. Every inch of the aircraft had to be sculpted with precision, from the leading edges to the engine inlets to the way heat escaped the exhaust. Even the paint was classified. Every screw, every rivet was designed to absorb or deflect radar. The result? A bomber with the radar cross-section of a small bird. Not a jet. Not even a drone, a bird. It was unveiled to the world in 1988. But even then, the public only saw a glimpse. The aircraft remained shrouded in secrecy. Reporters weren't allowed to photograph the back of the plane where its engine nozzles were. No one was allowed to ask how it avoided infrared detection. And no one, absolutely no one, knew exactly how it worked. What we did know was this. The B-2 could fly 6,000 nautical miles without refueling. And with one refuel, it could circle the globe. It could penetrate the most advanced air defense systems on Earth, drop up to 40,000 pounds of bombs, nuclear or conventional, and vanish back into the sky before anyone could react. It's not just stealthy, it's strategic. Each B-2 is operated by a crew of just two, a pilot and a mission commander. Inside the cockpit, there are no windows behind them, no doors leading to the back. Just two seats, a flight deck, and classified systems packed into every available space. There are no defensive weapons, no guns, no missiles for self-defense. The B-2's defense is its invisibility. It doesn't fight its way in. It sneaks in, completes the mission, and disappears. And when it comes to weapons, the B-2 is a monster. It can carry bunker busters, GPS-guided JDAMs, and even nuclear bombs. Each bomb bay can hold a variety of payloads, configured depending on the mission. The B-2 is one of only a few aircraft in the U.S. arsenal certified to deliver nuclear weapons under the single integrated operational plan. But even with all this, the B-2's greatest strength might be psychological. It doesn't just destroy targets, it projects power. The mere knowledge that the U.S. has B-2s airborne is enough to make adversaries think twice. And that's no exaggeration. In March 1999, during the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia, B-2 bombers flew non-stop missions from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri to Serbia and back, a round trip of nearly 30 hours. They destroyed critical infrastructure with pinpoint precision, all while remaining virtually undetected. In 2003, during the opening hours of the Iraq War, B-2s were once again first in flying from Missouri to the Middle East. They dropped the first bombs of the conflict on Saddam Hussein's command bunkers. Later in 2011, B-2s were deployed to Libya to neutralize air defenses and airfields. They flew from the U.S., struck their targets, and returned home all in a single mission. It's hard to overstate just how revolutionary that is. No base in the region needed, no allies required. Just take off from the U.S., drop your bombs on the other side of the world, and come back undetected. But all of this comes at a price, and what a price it is. 
Each B-2 costs over $2 billion to build when you include development engineering and support infrastructure that makes it the most expensive aircraft ever made, more expensive than even a modern aircraft carrier jet for jet, and maintenance even more expensive. The B-2 requires special climate-controlled hangars to maintain its stealth coating. Each aircraft needs meticulous care after every mission, including reapplying radar-absorbing material by hand. A single technician's mistake can compromise the entire aircraft's stealth profile. That's partly why, despite plans to build over 100, only 21 B-2s were ever constructed. One has since crashed, leaving just 20 in service today. But despite its age, the B-2 remains cutting edge. It's constantly upgraded with new avionics, new communication systems, and even software-controlled weapons bays. It's now compatible with the new B-612 nuclear bomb, a smart nuclear bomb with GPS guidance. And thanks to its long range and stealth, it's still the only aircraft capable of penetrating deeply defended areas without support. The Air Force plans to keep the B-2 flying into the 2030s. After that, it will be replaced by its spiritual successor, the B-21 Raider. Smaller, cheaper, even stealthier. But that's another story. The B-2 spirit will go down in history, not just as a triumph of engineering, but as a symbol of American air dominance. For over three decades, it has stood as a silent guardian of U.S. global power. A black triangle in the sky, invisible, unstoppable, untouchable. When nations prepare for war, they count tanks, ships, and missiles. But when they see a B-2 take off, they know that war could be over before it ever begins.